So you might be wondering why I have a hairdryer and a teddy bob and a keyboard. Because today I'm going to show you a demo of an awesome open source app called Noise Torch. It basically brings RTX voice style noise gate and filtering to Linux and it's awesome. I already said awesome, didn't I? Mm. All right, so Noise Torch is basically an open source application for Linux that taps into Pulse Audio and creates a virtual microphone for you. It, it's kind of like a noise gate or a, a noise suppressor. And the really cool thing about it is it acts like a virtual mic. So let's say you're in a Zoom call or you're using Jitsi to talk with some friends. You're uh, maybe in a multiplayer game or you're doing a podcast in a park, so, something, uh, anywhere where there is noise that you don't want getting into your recording or getting into people's ears. Whoops. So in a nutshell, you install it and then you select your source microphone. So in this case, it's gonna be my MXL BCD1. And after that, you, uh, you choose kind of what your noise gate is going to be, what your trigger level is going to be. And I'll show you guys that. And, uh, and then you choose whether you want to use your kind of your raw microphone or your noise torch microphone. So whether you're in OBS or Zoom or Jitsi or Discord or in a multiplayer game, you can select noise torch and then it will apply that noise gating and it does a fantastic job of filtering out all the background noise. Now I demoed this very briefly on the Linux for Everyone uh, podcast number 46. I'll have a link to that in the description if you wanna check that out as well. Uh, there's also a great interview with uh, Jeremy Soller of System76 in there. Uh, but what I wanted to do today is actually take you through an installation of Noise Torch and then demonstrate it for you using some uh, various noise makers. First step is going to be heading over to Noise Torch's GitHub page, which is github.com slash L-A-W-L, that's a lol, slash Noise Torch. And uh, you will have to go into the command line to get this installed. I did speak to the developer recently, and the good news is he is going to look into packaging this up as an app image. Uh, because I wouldn't classify this installation as easy. It, it is straightforward, though, and it is, it is very... Um, I mean, I did it on my first try, which is saying something. Uh, and all the instructions are very clear on the GitHub page as well. So I'm just gonna take you guys through this right now. And I'll be doing all of this on the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 1, which is rocking uh, an AMD Ryzen 7 4800H with Radeon graphics. And it's got a one terabyte NVMe in there and 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm, I'm really liking it so far. And I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's on battery right now. And the battery is just a beast. I'm loving the battery life on this thing. So yeah, this is kind of the first uh, production test of the Tuxedo Pulse 15, but let's get to it. So our first step is we wanna download the latest release and that's gonna be version 0.10.1. Okay, so let's move into our downloads folder where that file is. And we'll just double check that it's there. Yes, it is, okay. So, tar-c into the home directory, xcf noise torch. And if you hit tab, it should auto-complete the, uh, the file. So boom, and that's done. Now we're just gonna do a quick refresh of the uh, GNOME icon cache. So you now have a noise torch binary and desktop entry on your system. And now what we're gonna do is give it the required permissions. So sudo here, set cap, cap underscore sys underscore resource equals plus EP. And then, whoops, and whoops. <laughs> Dot local slash bin slash noise torch and enter your password and we should be good to go. You might not see the proper icon here. 
until you log out. But it should still launch. And then if you log in and uh, log out and log in again, you'll you'll get the proper noise torch icon. All right, let the fun begin. So first thing we're going to do is select our microphone if it's not selected. Okay, so filter microphone should be automatically on once you've got it installed. And you can see here uh, our U22 analog stereo, that's our Zoom U22 audio interface that is connected to the BCD1 microphone. Or we could go through the webcam or we could go through the built-in mic here on the Pulse 15. But we're gonna keep it quality, so let's do the U22 option. And uh, I fooled around with this when I did the podcast demo. And I found that 65 for me, in a very noisy environment, was the sweet spot. But for you, it might be 80%, it might be uh, 95%, which is the default. But I want to show you some, some rather extreme situations. So I'm going to put this at 65% and load it. Let's have some fun. We'll pull up OBS. And sorry for the uh, <laughs> infinite uh, <laughs> dark, whatever you want to call that. Now, uh, OBS does have a noise gate feature. But the brilliant thing about this is it's a universal setting. So. Uh, you know, whatever application you happen to be in, you just select the noise torch microphone. Here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to turn on this hairdryer. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. Now, no doubt you can hear that. Got our keyboard over here. I'm gonna just start typing, okay? And, and I'll do some squeaks on Teddy Bob. This is Slayer's favorite toy. All right, so now I am just going to go to properties and I'm going to change our input to the noise torch microphone. Listen up. And on. Total silence, I bet. Um, and now you're going to hear some of the noise being kind of muffled and, and, and tamped down a little bit while I'm talking. But uh, the brilliant thing about it is that when I'm not talking, when it's not being activated by my voice, it should be completely. And that's with a freaking hairdryer on, okay? <laughs> so uh, you can imagine how well it would do like at a park or if, you know, You've got some family in the other room watching TV or maybe on a conference call. Um, I don't know, your, your dog's playing with Teddy Bob, something like that. Let's turn it back on now so you can hear again how much of a difference this makes. Very, very cool. All right, now I'm going to switch up this demo a little bit. Bear with me. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use an app called Core Control, which is kind of an open source uh, utility for Linux that lets you have really finite control over your uh, AMD CPUs and GPUs. And yes, it even works with the brand new uh, 6800 series. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that app to crank up the fans on both of these GPUs to 100%. All right, so both of those fans are at 100%, and we have kind of the, the outdoor noise. There's uh, traffic out there. And now, let's just turn on Noise Torch again. Noise Torch is now on. Do you see how much of a difference that makes? It's, it's wild. It's absolutely wild. I love it. I'd really love to hear what your experience is with Noise Torch. Um, download it. Give it a shot. Try some fun things. Uh, and tell me what your, your specific use case is. I'm really curious to hear that. And I'm curious to hear how it works for you. So leave a comment or uh, you can always email linuxforeveryone at pm.me. That is linuxforeveryone at pm.me. And if you dig it, Star it on GitHub. Uh, he's also got a Patreon. Give him a couple bucks for some great software. So that's Noise Torch. It's 
excellent, it's effective, and it's open source and free. Thanks again to Tuxedo Computers for not only like helping out with this video, but sponsoring the entire network, all of our content. It's, uh, it's, it's a dream come true, so thanks you guys. If you wanna grab some Linux for Everyone merch, uh, we've got a US and a European store, depending on where you are. Or if you just wanna hang out with the rest of the amazing Linux for Everyone community on Discord, on Matrix, on Telegram, on Mastodon, there are links to all of those places down there in the description. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next video, you guys take care and take care of each other. Bye.